Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In my previous demo, I showed you how to import data from Excel into SharePoint. I showed you the best way of doing that by exporting the data on the export button here in the table tools. Now I'm going to show you how to clean this up. There are several problems with the way that Excel exports information into SharePoint. It's very easy and very powerful, but there are some problems. I'm going to show you those. First of all, the list that gets created under list settings here, it doesn't have versioning enabled. Very easy to change. I'm just going to do that. Create a version each time you edit an item in this list. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new view. As you see, the default view here is in quick edit mode. And that's not really a good thing. You're still in the web interface and people don't expect to get right into editing here. So it's very easy to make a mistake by just you know changing something and switching the, the row and then you would save the information, which is most likely not what you're looking for when you go into the customer's list the first time. So I'm going to create a new view and a standard view. I'm not going to use this data sheet view for this one. I'm just going to call it customers and I'm going to make this the default view. That is the one that I end up by default when I'm moving into this list somehow. So I'm just going to remove some of this. Gender is not that interesting. The address, I'm just going to make it a bit of a cleaner view here. And then I'm going to do this one, which I, th I think is a really good one. I'm going to put the edit on number one, saving my users a couple of clicks when they want to go in and edit. There we go, just new view with um, a name and it should be the default view. And also we enabled versioning, of course. Now we have a much nicer view. And of course we can create more of them to show the information in whatever way we want. Maybe by country would be interesting. I'm gonna just group this by country. And of course the fields are in alphabetical order so it's easy to find and in most cases you don't want the country field to be visible when you're grouping on it that kind of looks strange i'm going to click ok and there we see the items by country the final thing that i want to do to clean this up now is it to be shown in the quick launch several ways of doing that the easiest way is simply going to edit links and drag and drop this link right here and then save again. So that concludes my demo on how to clean up after importing from Excel. Thank you for watching.